breaking news to tell you about right now and a police chase that ended with a suspect shot and killed and a canine officer needing to be rushed to the hospital. CBS 46 is Ayanna Crystal. She's live in DeKalb County. She's got the latest details for us. Ayanna? Just moments ago, the medical examiner did pull into this complex. I am told that there were two different scenes in this police chase, one that ended in the back of this complex here at Middle Hidden Meadows Townhomes. Now, in the back of this complex is where the shooting happened and the police chase ended. GBI was called out here to investigate. Right now, we want you to take a listen to the gunshots that scared a senior citizen apartment complex. dozen shots were fired and residents tell me it was terrifying to hear all of the gunfire. DeKalb County Police tell us officers were surveilling a convenience store on Central Drive when they were serving over 11 warrants on a suspect just after one this afternoon. Investigators say the suspect went reaching for his waistband and took off running. He ran through the apartment complex into the woods and made it back to the Thornwood townhome community. That is where the canine noticed the man in his his 20s and went after him. During the chase, the suspect was shot. He was rushed to the hospital where he died. And people were just shocked that this even happened in this community. And of course, we counted at least 13 gunshots fired off. No word yet if the suspect shot at the officers or who shot the canine. That is being investigated right now. And as we continue our team of coverage, let's send it to my colleague, Trace and Bragg. Yeah, Ayana, we got some new information here just in the last several minutes. I'm told that when Django was rushed right here to the Blue Pearl Animal Hospital, he actually received a multi-agency police escort. I'm told that Sandy Spring officers met DeKalb County officers and rushed him right here, and he was rushed through those doors after being shot. He was, I'm told he was shot around 1 o'clock this evening during that police chase that you mentioned. Now, what we know so far is that after being wounded, he did have to undergo surgery. We aren't told exactly where he was wounded, what part of his body or how serious that wound was, but he did have to undergo surgery right here at Blue Pearl. And here's a little bit more about what we know about his condition. Several uh, gunshots were fired. Um, the suspect was uh, shot and the canine officer was shot as well. Uh, the canine officer was transported to a local area of veter uh, local veterinary hospital uh, in critical but in stable condition. Now, I also want to remind you guys that we were the first station to break this story. You found out about this officer involved shooting on our CBS 46 powerful news app. We were also the first station to arrive right here to check in on Django's condition. Here's more about what we know about Django. He's been an, a member of the department for six years. Now, right now, we are unsure if he will be able to return to full capacity as a canine officer. We're going to have to continue to work with DeKalb County Police Department to learn those details. But what we do know is that he's getting the much needed rest right now. He's getting that much needed rest that he needs to make a full recovery. For now, that's it here in Sandy Springs. I'm Trayson Brown, CBS 46 News. Trayson, thanks very much.